Google's annual developer conference, Google I.O., starts tomorrow and promises a preview of the cool gadgets and big announcements regarding AI. So what do consumers need to know? That's why we have CNET senior correspondent Nick Wolney here with more. So we're hearing about AI everywhere. It's not always positive. Tell me why this event is the one to watch. Well, there's been a lot of concern about AI specifically, you know, both good and bad, you know, what is happening with this technology. Google also kind of needs to prove itself at this event. You know, in the last 12 months, quite a bit has happened in AI. The, the TLDR version is that they were long a leader in AI. And then ChatGPT came along in November mm -hmm. and publicly tested, beta tested their chatbot. And this just caused this enormous explosion of interest. You know, it's kind of hard to get away from people talking about it, really. And so Google is trying to play catch up. They released a chatbot. Microsoft also released a chatbot. Uh, you know, and so there's there's a lot to prove at this particular event, which will be tomorrow. And from here. the consumer perspective, what cons should consumers be looking out for? One of the biggest things that you need to know about with any of these AI chatbots is that they're not necessarily designed to be accurate. It's called an LLM, mm -hmm. it's a large language model. Uh, the analogy that I like to use is, you know, for example, ChatGPT, it was, uh, it's only been trained on information through 2021. So if you asked ChatGPT about Will Smith's career, for example, there's a really important detail, you know, the recent detail that's been left out, and that's because the bot has only been trained up to a certain point. So if you go to a chatbot or if you're tinkering with AI for information, it's not intended to be accurate. It's intended to answer your question. That's a really important yeah. point. I think <laughs> another thing that's good to be aware of is something called hallucinations. This is where we kind of almost get into science fiction territory with this. A hallucination is when the chatbot is so convinced of its answer that it will really try to persuade you almost to the point of, you know, a little being sociopathic in a way, you know, really trying <laughs> yeah. to convince you that this is definitely the answer. We had a few months ago, we had with the New York Times, um, Kevin Roos, that tech reporter, he was talking with the Bing chatbot and, which is Microsoft's chatbot, and it tried to convince him to leave his wife and, wow. and walk off with the chatbot, right? And so a hallucination is when the bot forgets that it is a machine and not a human. And so that's something else that to take into consideration. Just know that, you know, it's a piece of machinery and it's not necessarily intended to be accurate. So that's that good is to know. so freaky. We have less than a minute. Um, I want to get to the fun stuff too because we're expecting fun mm -hmm. updates, yes. hardware, yeah. the, the flip phone again. Yes, Tell me it's I know. Back. I love the yes, flip phone. I had a razor when I was a kid, so I'm really excited. <laughs> me too. Yeah, Pixel Fold. I wasn't a kid. Which, but. Uh, <laughs> but Pixel Fold is the um, folding phone that Google has been testing. They teased it last year. We think it's coming out. Also, uh, Google is going to be releasing a tablet. We are expecting that. Um, also, <laughs> CNET reported that that a photo of that already leaked on. Amazon Japan on Sunday. So we're pretty confident that something's going to be announced related to a tablet uh, at tomorrow's developer conference. Well, so I love talking to you because you give us the sneak peek, the preview of all of it, and you help us understand it too because it's kind of confusing. Yeah. Thank you. Great to see you as always. Likewise. Appreciate it. And you can find out more information about CNET by going to kcalnews.com and clicking Scene on TV.